Hey yo, hi, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I want to talk about a book I've read recently. I mean, not recently, like a month ago. Um, but it, in a way, stayed with me and inspired me. So I, I think it's worth sharing. Today I want to tell you about a book I've read recently. It's called, it's titled, it's called, it's titled, it's titled um, Joy Inc. How we build a workplace people love. And the author of the book is called Richard Sheridan. Richard Sheridan. If you're watching this, Rich, remember to, I don't know, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's a stupid joke, of course he, will never know my name. The book is very interesting. So the book tells a success, a success story uh, of a company that Richard founded, started a few years ago. I mean, I think, I don't know exactly. I think something like 20 years ago or something. And uh, the company is called Menlo Innovations. Menlo Innovations. And they're actually, they're just a digital agency. From what I got from the book, they're like a software house. So they build software for external clients. And it's very interesting because the book tells the story of the company and how the company works. So the main focus is on how they do things. And what they do is quite unusual because they focus, like they embra embrace the concept of extreme programming. Imagine a software team. They always work in pairs, in a pair or so so they do pair programming eight hours a day. I mean probably not eight hours eight hours a day because they have some meetings, but for when they code, the engineers are always pair program, so that's interesting. The pairs are not like a constant deal, like it's it's not stable deal, it's not like marriage. You don't get one for the rest of your life in the, in the company. The, the pair switch every week. They value open communication and flat structure. Very, because they always work with in pairs, pairs it's very easy to switch positions. And um, at the beginning of the book, there is a story about uh, an engineer and um, and she's uh, at a conference and she's asked what language she, she's, she's been using at work. And she says something like, oh, that's a very interesting question because I never, uh, I never think about myself in this way because I do whatever is needed for the customer, for the client. So, yeah, so, you know, because if they're working pair, there is always a person who's maybe more experienced or knows the technology better and they mentor the pair. So, yeah, so the knowledge flow is kind of what works very well in this scenario. But they take it even further and it's quite easy to switch a position. So if you want, to, if a software engineer wants to become a project manager, it's quite easy to do. They also use physical boards and they, they write stories on stickies. So basically when you, when you walk around the office, I, I imagine it this way, if, if you work, w walk around the office and you go to one team, you can see the board and you can easily see what they have been working on uh, this week. Of course, it's the outdoors company. So he, so, so, so he tells the success story, um, which is not bad. I guess culturally for me, it was, um, how can I say that? I got suspicious at some point reading this book because he was just, uh, you know, sharing all the great things they do and how great they are at doing what they do. Uh, and as a Polish citizen, I'm always a little bit suspicious because I want to also hear the the other part of the story when maybe so, so, so 
I want I always want to hear about things that didn't go that well. I understand he wanted to to share his enthusiasm and joy uh, that he has from running this company, so I get it. The other thing that's very interesting is that they base their decisions on whether or not this will bring the company joy. So they focus a lot of uh, a lot on the joy. Does it bring the joy? It's a little bit like uh, Marie Kondo, I guess. Uh, but it's not like Marie Kondo. Or maybe, in a way. But I think they were first, so. I don't want to share too much details uh, on, what, on how they do things. But there are two things that I found very inspiring. And, and this is actually why I'm sharing it with you. First thing was that I believe that it's even if the, f the 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 main focus of the on, of the book is on how they do things, how they do uh, sprint ritual like team rituals, how they work, what's their uh, work ethic, and do they work on on weekends or not? If you if you were a manager of your company and you just wanted to copy copy their their rituals and paste them in your company i think it will it, it wouldn't work because what i found to be phenomenal about richard's approach to running a company is that not only everyone knows how to do things so how to run a stand up how to write stories, etc, etc, but they know why they're doing it. And this is impressive and, and it doesn't happen too often. And, I, uh, and I've worked for companies that have been trying to embrace those agile values, but, you know, it's very easy to... Uh, I don't know, like in a way, force people to do things, you know, just, oh, this is how, how you will do that now. And, and when people don't know why, then they're less motivated and they're less, less willing to change their behavior. And the whole experience is worse. The, the whole ex working experience is worse. I was impressed like really impressed how well those values were translated to everyone in the company. Why? And and think of and 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 um uh, and, 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 and and there's a huge inspiration for you and for me to just walk to our office on Monday and look at our calendar and, and, and think about how we run our meetings, how we work, but also why we do things. Why do we have a stand-up? Why do we have a retrospective? Why do we have a sprint review? Why do we have a backlog refinement, etc, etc. I think it's, a, it's, it's great to start asking these questions and for team to reflect on why. I highly encourage you to do that um, because hmm, it's very easy to uh, mm, it's very easy to repeat things just because oh it's it's been always like this you know so we will have stand up at 10 15 because it it's been always like this but why you know maybe Maybe the time was decided when the uh, circumstances were different, and now we could have easily move. We we could easily move the send up to another hour, which probably fits 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 everyone better. Very great question, especially it, yeah. I do I 
do recommend you to reflect on your rituals and on your meetings. What I really, what I really care about is, uh, and I would, and I, and what I really want my team to feel is that we own our process. So our process is how we believe is the best way to work. I, I don't really believe in forcing any changes or for, forcing a process on a team. The team should actually talk and discuss and um, adjust on how, how a team wants to work. Asking the question why we have this or that is, in my opinion, a very good first step. And the second thing that this book really inspired me to do was to experiment with the process. First, I asked about why, and then I was like, let's change it. Let's change how we work. At the beginning of January for the first sprint, I removed all the team rituals we used to have, and I created a, a different ritual yeah, a different different approach to team rituals and to to how we work. It's been very successful uh, so far. People are happy with it, um, and the communication in the communication team is better now. I think the team has a better understanding on how we're progressing towards the sprint goals, and also. It feels more agile. It's like a yeah, a process that we own, the process that we can change, the process that uh, <laughs> that we enjoy really, which is funny to say, uh, taking into account that I'm talking about a book called Joy Inc. I expect that the team will change, uh, will change the rituals, maybe in three or five or six months when they think. And when they feel uh, that oh we are too comfortable with that we're we're I don't know we're too comfortable with that we're maybe bored with it I I would really I I would really enjoy it uh, saying I would really appreciate when it, I I really love you know when people are creative when it comes to their process and when they really feel like they are in charge of it. I do recommend this book. I think it's a very nice read and easy read. And probably, maybe, it will inspire you to change the way you work. Uh, yeah, which is always amazing and exciting and yeah, motivating. Okay, so confession. I'm a little bit sick today and I don't know if this video makes sense, but I just wanted to share something with you. Uh, let me know if in the comments what you think, how do you work, I'm always, and uh, not only how do you work, but also why do you work the way you work, and yeah, please subscribe, comment, like, share, uh, and see you next time.